Hey everybody, we're back again today with another video. Um, this one is on generator interlock kits and what are they exactly. Um, we'll do a future video on the difference between uh, interlock kit and a portable generator panel. Those are always competing devices to install in your home when you're doing a portable generator. And there's definitely some pros and cons of both. But I wanted to cover in this video specifically just what the generator interlock kit is because um, a lot of customers actually don't know they exist and it's a, it's a really great product. So if you're looking at the uh, picture on the screen now, you will see a metal device that's around the main breaker in the panel and it extends down next to the generator back feed circuit breaker. Now the way this works is when you turn that main breaker off, the metal will actually slide up allowing the generator back feed breaker to be turned on. All this device does is prevents you from having your main breaker and your generator back feed breaker on at the same time because if you had your portable generator running and your utility power came back on and both breakers were on the two electricities would clash and that would be a, definitely a bad thing. Now uh, back to the picture when you are looking to return to utility power uh, you would turn your generator breaker off that would allow the metal to slide down and now you would turn your utility power or your main breaker back on and um, you're good to go. Now why I love these generator interlock kits so much is because it gives the end user complete control over their own panel. When you're on that generator power you can power whatever it can support in your house basically uh, within reason, within reason I'll say. so. It's going to depend on the size of the generator that you have. I recommend our customers go with a 6,000 to 7,000 at least uh, running watts generator. And that should allow you to run you know, your general lighting, your general outlets, definitely your microwave, your fridge, your heating system, given it's um, powered on oil or, or gas. Um, you'll be able to do some other things too, maybe your dishwasher disposal um, and so on things that, you, that, that the, the portable generator is most likely not going to be able to power are your electric range, uh, possibly your electric dryer, your um, AC condenser depending on the load. And uh, that's just um, something that we all understand when we're using a portable generator. Now, there are portable generators out there that are large enough that could support and possibly support most of those loads, but you'd have to do the calculation. And uh, we'll get into that in another video. But in the meantime, if you want to take a look at our website, I do have a pretty good write-up on sizing a portable generator for your own house. And it just, it's just doing some math and just kind of adding up the wattages of the things you're going to use and comparing that to the running watts of the generator. And it's actually really, really simple stuff. So definitely take a look at that, look at that in the meantime. And we'll do another uh, video specifically on that in the future. Now, When you're using the interlock kit, what I recommend our own customers do is once you've identified the loads that you can't use while you're on portable generator power, uh, turn those breakers off. I mean, it's that simple. Just turn them off and then you don't have to worry about accidentally trying to, your AC kicks on or something and um, you, it trips out or overloads the uh, portable generator. Or you could leave them on and you just know that, you, hey, I just can't use this stuff, but I think it's definitely the easiest thing to do is just turn the breakers off while you're switching to generator power. I'm going to turn off my AC condenser, my electric range breaker, uh, my electric dryer, whatever those things are that I know I can't use, just turn them off and then you don't have to worry about it while you're on portable generator power. Once the utility comes back on and you go back to uh, utility power and you're switching the interlock kit back around, that's the time, just turn those breakers back on and all is well. I hope this video did a decent job of explaining what the interlock kit is. And uh, one big comparison the interlock kit uh, is compared to all the time is a generator panel. And uh, we'll get into that in the next video. I'm going to actually compare the two. There is one, I'd say just one pro to the generator panel, which we'll talk about in that video. I'd say we install around um, 10 of these interlock kits for every one generator panel. So the, the interlock kit is by far the most popular with our, with our own customers at least. Um, in the meantime, though, before that video comes out, if you want to check out our website, I do have a good write-up on just this, the interlock kit versus the generator panel. And there's also a piece in there about um, whole house generators versus portable generators. I'm a big fan of portable generators in general. There's a lot of pros to it. And of course, there's pros to whole house generators as well. 
but definitely take take a look at that we'll do some videos on those in the future too and uh, yeah comment down below let me know what you think what, uh, what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future and uh, definitely check out the links to our website below that's the everything's in the blog section that I'm talking about uh, definitely take a look and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks so much